Welcome to episode 904, Dermot Desmond, the architect of Irish economic miracle in the 1990s. This is an outline of episode 904. This is picture of Dermot Desmond and his wife, Pet. There are very few big bang initiatives and, and what Dermot did in his old idea was a very, it was like seismic. Dermot has an amazing ability to convince other people that the most contrarian ideas um, will work. Now, I mean, the 80s were a, a grim period in Ireland. We had the highest unemployment at 18% with the highest debt at 122% of GNP. Then came the economic miracle of Ireland in the 1990s, also known as the Celtic Tiger. Thank you so much for this honour. But as we all know, there are three stages of new ideas. First one is it can't be done. Second, it probably can be done but it's not worth doing. And thirdly, I knew it was a good idea all along. He was born in McCroom near Cork, Ireland in 1950. At age 18, he dropped out of high school, Good Council College, and began work for Citibank. Second job was at the Bank of Ireland. Third job was as a consultant to the World Bank for Pricewaterhouse Coopers in Afghanistan. It was a dangerous mission. In 1981, he founded NCB Stockbrokers. NCB stands for National City Brokers, which became Ireland's largest independent brokerage. He sold it for $39 million in 1994. With the proceeds, Desmond started his own private equity firm, International Investment and Underwriting. In 2008, the financial and real estate bubble in Ireland bursted, resulting in a debt spiral. It's on the record that you said in 2006, you told your staff at the Christmas party, don't buy property. But how soon before that did you see it? Did you see the crash coming? Well, you know, I, I spend a lot of my time travelling around the world. And when, when property prices in Dublin were higher than equivalent property prices, say, for example, in London, or you could say the property price per square foot in New York, and you, and you talk about the two great, great cities in the world, are, are London and New York, because if anybody makes money in Russia, Brazil, China, Japan, Saudi Arabia, they'll all invest in, in properties either in London or New York. That's where they're the catchment areas for the kind of global populace. And now you have Dublin, which is a great city, probably no better city, but it's still a provincial city in, in the scheme of things. You know, it's a Manchester. And nobody said no to poor regulators. Uh, we, um, we didn't have the vision is that everything could correct itself, that generally things that move too fast you should sell, um, and and you know if you go if you go look if you want to talk about the financial crisis in Ireland, I think there's two elements to it. One is that how we manage our own financial affairs, and then the global crisis, and how we manage our own financial affairs. I think we I think it was first of all poor regulation, poor regulation from the regulator, poor um, supervision, or planning by the Department of Finance. And uh, poor management by in, in some of the with some of the banks uh, because they everybody every, we saw this property bubble getting higher and higher and being fueled by credit being provided by the banks and really nobody some people said put warnings out there but nobody said stop. In 2020, the 70 year old Dermot Desmond is worth 2.1 billion dollars. His nickname is the Kaiser, well, from his beer and from his look. He's the majority owner of the famous soccer team, the Glasgow Celtic. 
All right, Terry, I am with J.P. McManus and Dermot Desmond, two uh, great friends of the AT&T. You've played in the uh, AT&T number of years from Ireland, so I'm going to ask you for all of our fans that go over to Ireland, what is your money? And Dermot, walking up, you said... Well, I think J.P. covered them all there, really. <laughs> <laughs> There's another 200-odd courses in Ireland, too, to go, to go play. But um, I think for both of us, I think Waterford is a very special place. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Dermot Desmond, 10 Lessons, wishing everyone peace and prosperity.